a kiwi from all the beautiful Latinas. Oh, please, hardly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it is. It is. Uh, this is what happened. Prince. Not only did I want you on the show, yeah. but Prince requested your presence. So, welcome to the show. Thank you. That's nice, isn't it? That's... It's wonderful. It's actually the exact way that I met him the first time when I was 19. Um, he requested me to be on his 1999 remix album. Ooh. Yeah. Imagine that phone call. I was like. Did he, I get, get the, he was on the phone, he called and... He called me and said, I've written this monologue and um, I think it's really important and I'm very excited about doing this remix album for this song and for 1999 and, and I think that you're the voice of a generation and uh, you need to say it. And I was like, I am? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it was amazing. So you, you went to uh, Minneapolis? Yes, I went to Minneapolis to see him, and I, I remember I was shooting Light It Up at the time, so I was, it was Chicago, it was freezing cold. I'm wearing these super long black slacks and this probably like turtleneck sweater, <laughs> knowing me, and his, his limo comes to pick me up, and I'm, you know, trying to play every, every moment of this, I'm trying to play very, very cool, because you can see he's so cool. And, um, and I remember just like, as I, I closed the divider between me and the driver, and then I ended up spending the rest of the entire drive like crawling through every single crevice of the car. And I thought I was smooth and cool, but I wish I'd had my grandmother's magic bag that she always has with her, because I step out of the vehicle covered in white lint. I even had it on my back somehow. Like it was just like really fan much. Yes. So he knew that you were rolling around <laughs> all over the carpet. Yes, yes, What was in yes. there? Organic chips no. and water? <laughs> very clean, very Hummus. good. No, there was no, no surprises. But, you know, I just, I just, uh, I've been such, he inspires me so much, and I'm so glad, grateful he really that he is. had me He's here inspirational. today. He's inspirational. His feel presence. It. He's so much love, so much talent, so much presence. And all the moments and the years that we've known each other that he's shown up in my life have been so great. And... I think I've really taken, I was thinking about it watching him talk tonight and just going, you know, that really stayed with me hearing him call me and say, I think you're the voice of a generation. And yeah. I think that's been something that I've carried so strongly with me. And one of the reasons why I think when I co-founded Voto Latino in 2004, that it's propelled me so strongly with that organization because that's what voting is about, is people using their voice. And I've just passed what he's done. I thought about it tonight. You're right. You're... I've passed it forward. You know, like, you are the voice of your generation. That's what you're doing. That's, what you're doing. that's right. Well said. Nice. Yeah. You're right. Yes. Now, if well, I call somebody right. up, if I call somebody and I say, you're the voice of a generation, they'll say, you know what, call me back when you're sober. Uh, get some help. You already know I need help. You already told me. So I follow you on Twitter, and I know that you love adventure. You, you're, you're enjoying everything about life. Yes, I like that about so. you. Have, have you ever been in a situation where you're like, how the hell did I end up here? Many, many times. Like, and, if you, and if you come and follow me on Twitter, you'll see it's not all like census stuff, though I've had people be like, yo, I think someone hacked into your account because they keep asking me about the census. I'm like, that's, that's me. I'm really <laughs> concerned. Um, but I, I tweet like really outrageous stuff, and I do kind of outrageous stuff too because I just, you know, as he says, like, you're just kind of walking the planet. I want to experience it. So I've skydived, I've scuba dived, I've, you know, I volunteer, I've, I'm political, I'm an entertainer. And yeah, I do, cool. I'm yeah. just doing it all. Now, so I, I, I remember the scariest one was running with the bulls in yeah. Pamplona. You ran with the bulls? Yeah. It was kind of like one of those things, I remember hearing about it, because I know women weren't allowed to run with the bulls in, in Pamplona in Spain for many, many years. And then it, the, the law changed, the rule changed. And I remember being like, Oh, I can? Okay. Wow. It was one of those lessons in when you can do something doesn't mean you should. <laughs> <laughs> very, very scary. But you know, most people do it, do it drunk. Were you, were you intoxicated? <laughs> no. That's cheating. You gotta, no. You gotta be... And even if I was, I probably would have sobered up, sobered up immediately. But no, I probably, that probably would have been smarter. But no, I can't even blame it on alcohol. Look, I totally did that sober. <laughs> you look over your shoulder and there's bulls running at you. What are you thinking? I hope I don't have a horn colonic. Like, <laughs> seriously? So scary. I'll never forget, like, there's this one guy, like, I'm running, and I'm like, <gasps> like, I felt like my throat was this big, and like, I was huffing on an air conditioner, like, everything was super, super present. And I remember this guy grabbed me and pulled me into a doorway, and I'm like, oh, like, chivalry is not dead. And then I realized, no, he's just trying to protect himself. <laughs> I was like, Dude, you really think a bull running full speed with horns the size of my arm is gonna, I'm gonna protect you, really? So that's like New York skills come out of elbow him and kind of keep going. But just like, I was perpetually scared for three months after that. Like, I mean, whatever to each his own, but I was like wow. Bugs Bunny crossing the street. Like I would check like three times. Wow. So, so the, the movie Zookeeper, 
Everybody's in this movie. Explain to everybody who's, what actors are in this movie. Oh, my goodness. Um, this was one of the things that made me so excited about doing this. Cher does a voice. It's a, it's a movie with talking animals. The animals talk. And Cher does a voice. Uh, Sylvester Stallone does a voice. Nick Nolte does a voice. Adam Sandler. Like, it just keeps going. And John Favreau. Well, like, incredible. I mean, the, and the Leslie Bibb and Kevin James as, as, as remarkable human, as human. actual humans. Yes. And we get to be people. But, like, who just does Stallone, so cool. Who does Stallone do? The lion, of course. He does a lion? <laughs> of course. Have you, heard, have you seen the movie? I have seen the movie. It's awesome. How, do, how does Sylvester Stallone sound as a lion? I mean... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and shares his wife, the lioness. It's pretty amazing, actually. Just, you just want to watch the whole movie. You're just watching them have a conversation. Like, please let that be true. <laughs> we, have, we have a clip here. Uh, would you set it up? I think you and Kevin are in this clip. Yes. Oh, this is... Um, so, he, Kevin's trying to get back with the woman that he loves, and so the animals have broken their code of silence to give him tips. And so this is the wolf teaching him how to be an alpha male by marking his territory. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody take a look at this. Oh. Yeah. Well, hey, Kevin, Rebecca and I are going. Hey! <gasps> Whoa! Hey! It's gonna be very hard to unsee that. I'm sorry about that. I, uh, I, 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 you know what happened? The wolf got stung by one of Venom's uh, scorpions, and then he started uh, limping. Bad. Oh, and the urine will neutralize the poison. Exactly. And uh, that, that's why I did it. You know, just, just peeing on him. Where's health? Okay, well, um, when you finish, I'll give him an answer to me just to be safe. Sounds good. All right, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Soak it. <laughs> Make sure you get the whole area. That's great. Will, will you stay for Prince's last song? Yeah. Will you stay and will we, we dance together? Ooh, okay. Zookeeper opens July 8th. Rosario Dawson, everybody, when we come back, another performance from the one and only Prince.